We've taken 10 key indicators so that you can read the tea leaves and see exactly what's going on in China's economy. I'm John Foley at Reuters Breaking Views. If worrying about China's economic growth has got you reaching for the bottle, why not try a glass of Guizhou Maotai? This expensive, fiery liquor is the tipple of choice for China's wealthy and well-connected, and it's also the juice that fuels some of China's most opulent military banquets. We've decided to include it in our tea leaf index of alternative growth measures because we've made the decision that when Maotai share price is going up, it's a sign that consumption for the few and fortunate is firing ahead and that consumption trends overall are quite strong. Now, Maotai share price has actually been one of the worst performers. There are really two reasons for that. One is a food scare that kicked off in November where people started worrying about plasticizing agents in Baijiu brands of Chinese liquor. That sent the share prices tumbling. More recently, Chinese state media announced a ban on alcohol at military banquets, which is really going to put the dampener on some of those late-night parties on which companies like Guizhou Maotai depend. Of course, this is not good news for the index going ahead because the index reflects partly what happens to Guizhou Maotai's share price. But in the long term, if these bans on official excess are good, this will be a positive sign for the economy overall. We should help China move towards a more sober, more healthy style of growth. And that can only be a good thing.